October 2017 and we have just hit 2.1 million subscribers on the channel and I was kind of thinking to myself what could we do to celebrate this and I believe I have come up with the best idea ever guys on the first of every single month from October 2017 onwards I will give away $100 to one subscriber that's $100 PayPal, iTunes, or Android. And all you need to do if you want the chance to win is simply let me know down below in that comment section when did you subscribe to the channel, what year, what month, and how many subscribers did I have. I think it's going to be really cool, guys. We're going to do it every single month until the channel, you know, eventually dies or, I don't know, I quit or, I don't know, maybe I get hit by a bus, something like that. We're going to keep doing it. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you think it's a cool idea, leave a like on the video, guys, and subscribe to the channel. And remember to let me know what month, what year, and how many subs did I have when you first subscribed. So what we're going to do to celebrate that right now, guys, we are going to buy ourselves $100. So I've just got $200 in gift cards. One's for me and one's for one of you, which we are going to announce either tomorrow or Wednesday, guys. So stay tuned. But we're going to buy ourselves a chest of gems and we're gonna do something special here inside of this episode. So there we go, we just got ourselves 14,000 gems, guys. $99.99. Now I asked you over the last couple of days, which troop did you wanna see maxed out inside of the builder's base? And loads of you kept saying the cannon car. Obviously the cannon car, it's extremely unique, guys. It's different from all the other troops. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of interested to see what it's like as well. So it's gonna be 2.4 million elixir. And that's going to take us to level 13. Now, if we gem this right now, it will increase damage per second plus 16 and hit points plus 32. 2.4 million. Let's do it, guys. 1,250 gems. And there it is. So we've got a cannon car going to level 13. It's going to take four days. Hashtag general Tony is back, guys. 1,249 gems. And we've got ourselves a level 13 cannon car. So one more level. And that is going to increase damage per second plus 20. So unfortunately, we don't actually get an extra cannon cart, which kind of sucks, guys. That sucks real bad. Because we did get extra barbarians, but I don't know. Maybe Supercell thought that would be too overpowered, guys. But here we go. Let's do this. 2.6 million elixir. Hold on, hold on. I've got a good idea, guys. We've got level 13 cannon carts in the game. Why don't we remove our entire army... Build an entire level 13 cannon car army, then we'll gem them to max level after we've done this attack and see if there's a big difference between level 13 and level 14. Let's do that, guys. Okay, so we've got ourselves 10 level 13 cannon carts. Just going to grab a screenshot in case I want to use it for a thumbnail. We're going to get ourselves into this live attack. Then we're going to come back and we're going to gem them to level 14, max level, Let's see if uh, if there's much of a difference. So, which one's going to do more damage? Let's find out. Okay, so... This base design looks pretty sweet, guys. It is a nice-looking base, but we're going to have to make some openings inside of it. And hopefully, we can do some serious damage. So, what happens if I drop a cannon cart there? Is it going to go straight for the barrack? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's going to take it out, guys. That's cool. And then it's going to go for the army camp just out of range of the, uh, the cannon still. And now it's going to come right along all the way to the Elixir Collector. That is awesome. Let's drop another one there, one there. And now let's go in with a battle machine, guys. Here we go. Okay, so this is pretty sweet. We got another one taking out some buildings on the other side. The Elixir storage is already down. So you won't believe it, guys. But unfortunately, my laptop decided to delete all the other footage after that, uh, that cannon card attack. We didn't even get to complete the level 13 cannon card attack, guys. All the footage was deleted. And I've already gemmed them to level 14. Check it out if we go into the info button. If we click attack, you can see I've got 14 level 14 cannon carts. 10 of them inside of my army camps. And we've got like 4,000 less gems, guys. So we did spend another 4,000 gems. We maxed out the cannon carts from level 13 to level 14, guys. So it's official. Rage Barbarians and cannon carts are our two max troops in the game. So we're going to get ourselves into a live attack using the level 14 cannon carts. We're going to see if they're OP, guys, or whether they still kind of don't really fit too well with the meta. And then the question I have, which troop should we upgrade next, guys? We're going to upgrade one of the uh, the other troops at some point this week. we got Royal Giants, Beta Minions, Sneaky Archers, Baby Dragons, Bombers, Witches, and Dropships. 
To be honest with you, I love all of them, apart from the Night Witches, so I'm not really sure which one we're gonna do. Maybe Baby Dragons, you know, everyone uses them, but uh, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see what happens. So, let's do this. Live attack, all cannon cards, level 10 battle machine, they're maxed out this time, they aren't level 13, they are level 14. The question is, can we get some serious damage done to these bases? So... Let's find out guys what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and be extremely sneaky here I'm gonna drop out and bring in bombers just one camp of bombers and we're gonna open up two sections of this base guys Now I'm hoping this cannon cart can actually take out the crusher and we can also take out maybe a couple of other buildings Check it out guys the cannon carts have both survived the giant cannon also doing some damage to my poor cannon carts though, but we've done some serious damage. Also going to grab the roaster, and we've taken out the entire guard post, guys. Wow. Okay, so now we've got left is a giant cannon. So if we take that down, we should have a clear shot at taking down some extra buildings. Here we go. Not bad, guys. And it looks like we could grab ourselves a two-star on this base after all. So we're going to grab a couple of shots off to the gold storage, but it ain't going to go down. We're going to drop one bomber there. One bomber on the right, battle machine into the center. Let's go, guys. Can we really do a lot of damage to this dude's base? Let's find out. Two more of those uh, those cannon carts. The final three just behind the battle machine. Let's see if we're going to get ourselves a victory here, guys. Here we go. Battle machine and cannon carts making their way into the center. There goes the battle machine's ability. Already on the builder's hall. It's down. And we've got ourselves our first star. The double cannon gets taken out. These, these, uh, these cannon carts... Rampaging their way into the center of this dude's base, absolutely annihilating the majority of these defenses. Cannon Cart against Double Cannon. Cannon Cart wins, but it is game over. We did grab ourselves, though, a 58% two star, so that's pretty sweet, guys. Pretty cool indeed. And we got a victory. Awesome. 31 more trophies. Okay, so let's try it again, except this time, let's maybe remove the, uh, the bombers. And just bring cannon carts, guys. So cannon carts only. Going up against a guy called Spoon. Let's see if we can wreck him. Okay. So. This base looks pretty sweet once again, guys. I've got a good plan. Check this out. We're going to take out the clock tower. Oh, no. It's in range of the archer tower. That kind of sucks, guys. I was hoping to take that out. But uh, it's cool. Okay. So change of plan. We're going to take out a couple of the other buildings. And we're going to get this battle machine... And the other troops to funnel into the center, guys. So Mega Mine goes off on the right-hand side. That kind of sucks for me. Takes out my poor cannon carts. But the rest of them, gonna pour into the base now. Let's see if we can do some serious damage, guys. So here we go. There goes the Battle Machine's ability. He's taking some serious heat from the giant cannon, from the double cannon, the guard post also as well. There is a crusher on the left-hand side, guys. But it's not looking as good this time. Just about to take out the crusher. Can we grab ourselves a one star? 48%. One more building. We've done it. Come on. No. We've only got a cannon cart left on last stand, guys. And he got roasted. 48%. But we didn't grab ourselves a one star. So let's check it out. Did we get a victory? Let's find out, guys. This dude's got a weird army. Check out his army. He's got beta minions and archers. But a lot of beta minions. And he's just about going to grab that, uh, that Tesla tower. And then he's going to go. Oh, look at that. Mega Mine goes off. Unlucky for you, buddy. And he's going to grab our giant cannon now, guys. But he's lost a lot of his army. So that kind of sucks for him. Only got two more sneaky archers left after these ones have gone down. They're going to get taken out pretty quickly, guys. There it goes. And now there's a guard post. Troop kind of distracting those two sneaky archers. But they didn't really get distracted. So here we go. Beta Winians now going to swarm in. There's a firecracker. Hopefully going to do some damage and uh, hold off these baiting minions. we got another firecracker as well. The rest of the guard post has been exterminated, but we got a couple of barbarians left, guys. The archers are down. Guard post looks like it could stay alive as well, guys. And this dude's only got 27% damage so far. Question is, will the firecracker stay up and alive? It looks like it's going to. One more baiting minion. Yo, check it out, guys. We take each other out at the same time. And now it comes down to three beta minions and a battle machine. To be honest with you, I think this guy is going to get a victory, but I'm not 100% sure. He needs to take out the build assault, guys. If he can do it, then he's got a victory. If he can't, then you never know. So here comes the battle machine. Ability used instantly. Comes right around. 
Mega Mind's gonna go off. Obviously, doesn't do too much damage to the Battle Machine, guys. He's gonna get distracted as we start to pick away at his health now using our Guard Post troops. There we go. Down to about 60% hit points, guys. Unfortunately, the, uh, the Builder's Hall is right at the front there. And I'm guessing he's gonna be saving that ability for as he gets through the wall, guys. There it goes. Check it out. He's only got 29% total damage, but he's still gonna win because I did not grab the one star, guys. And it's game over. He got a victory. Damn. That sucks for me. So bad. Minus 30 cups. Okay, so we're gonna try one more live attack. This time, we're gonna see what happens when we use max troops only. So we're gonna go for Rage Barbarians and Cannon Carts, a combined army of two max level troops in the game. Question is, what will the damage be, guys? Let's find out. So three camps Barbarians, two camps Cannon Carts. Let's strike and see if we can take it down. Okay. I think we're going to come in from the left-hand side. It looks nice and juicy. Let's do this, guys. There goes the battle machine. Cannon cart one, two, three, four. We're going to send in these rage barbarians on a nice wide spread, guys. Just behind some over on this side as well. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. Battle machine ability going to get used. We're going to wait for this crusher to go down, guys. It's down. And now the rest of the battle machine, sorry, the rest of the rage barbarians can actually pour into this base. So every single troop is down on the map. Check it out, the battle machine just about got taken out there, but we've got a tidal wave of rage barbarians and they are literally destroying this dude's base. We lost one of our cannon carts, guys, but we've still got one left alive. And it looks like we three-starred the dude. Check it out, the cannon cart's gonna take out the crusher and we've genuinely three-star this guy's base by using a spam attack strategy of max level troops guys that shows how powerful the rage barbarians and the cannon carts are together pretty awesome there's no way we would have three-starred without the cannon carts guys they took out both of those crushers rage barbarians gonna take out the final elixir collector and we've got ourselves a victory question is did we win let's find out guys here we go of course we did actually we got a three star it's impossible you know what we're gonna end this episode here there will be another one coming in a couple of hours time stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to the channel guys as i said the first of every month one sub will get a 100 dollars gift card hopefully you enjoyed the video stay tuned there will be another one coming shortly i'll see you soon have a great sunday peace out